Stephen Coolboy Steph shows up to show out in his mesmerizing win against tough Leo Angelo. Coolboy Steph went into the fight with the game plan and it included ditching his distance game in order to meet and beat Leo on his own turf. Not only was this saving Fulton's legs from wearing down, but it also threw Leo Angelo off because of how unexpected it was. Although Leo was able to surprise Steven with a few right hands from a distance early on when Coolboy Steph was leaning back, Fulton shifted gears to meet with Angelo in the trenches in order to smother the success he was having with those right hands. And not only did he hang in there with him but he actually began beating him at his own game Fulton was able to create space for himself notice that Leo had little to no awareness when in close quarters and began firing uppercuts that couldn't seem to miss he also exchanged body work and since his punches were much shorter and not as loopy as Leo's he was able to get to his target first and be more effective with his punches then when the heat got too uncomfortable for the cool boy he tied up and leaned on and Angelo to wear him down further, extinguishing Leo's rallies and keeping his own momentum going. We all thought Leo's game would be on the inside and that Fulton's game plan would be from a distance, but that Fulton didn't show up until much later in the fight, and when he did, he was keeping a lost and dazed Leo at bay with a stiff jab. This fight really showed so many nuances and wrinkles to Fulton's game that I honestly think he is the guy to beat at 122 now. He can outbox you, fight you in the phone booth, dig to the body or work off a jab at medium to long distance, skate out of harm's way with his footwork or catch and shoot wider punches and fire back with some solid straight right hands down the middle. He is perhaps one of the most well rounded and balanced fighters in the sport right now. Plus the dog in him was at full display, he didn't back down one second and even though he wasn't thought to be the inside fighter, he sure made us think he was a better phone booth technician when he went toe to toe with Angelo throughout most of the fight. Going into the fight, I believe Leo's pressure and left hook would mark the difference. Unfortunately for Angelo Leo, both of those weapons were neutralized by Fulton and Leo was unable to piece together any counter game plan. Whenever Leo began to become effective on the inside to any degree, Fulton would nullify his efforts by keeping his head on Leo's chest and essentially blinding him and thus taking away his ability to pick and choose the most effective punches to throw. In fact, it was Fulton's relentless body attack, uppercuts and shorter punches on the inside and eventually jabs from a distance that were the keys that led the challenger to becoming the new WBO champion. Although the scorecards were very wide, Leo gave an honest account for himself and has nothing to be ashamed of. He is an excellent fighter in his own right, although his limitations did show and Fulton was able to capitalize off of his shortcomings. What I find most incredible is the fact that not one round was given to Angelo from the fifth round onward. Although Leo didn't get stopped, I think this fight could potentially affect him in the future. Future. The fact that his opponent was able to beat him at his own game could really make a fighter begin questioning himself. Hopefully Angelo is able to return in top form and we're able to see him back in the mix with the rest and best of them at 122. Another thing that amazed me about Stephen Fulton was the fact that he was out of the ring two days short of a year and showed no ring rust. According to CompuBox, Fulton threw 1,183 punches in this fight and fought pretty much two different fights during the 12 rounds without gassing. The amount of punches he threw placed him in third place for the most punches thrown in the history of the division. That's insane to think about, especially since this was his first fight back since contracting COVID and he was taking some serious body shots as well as he was dishing them out throughout the fight. So a few cool side notes about Cool Boy Steph. At the Wilder vs Fury 2 fight, Floyd essentially dissed him by stating that he didn't know who he was. So now, after beating one of Floyd's champions in Leo Angelo, Cool Boy Steph made sure to call Floyd out and ensured he knows who he is now. Fulton has also become the only champion currently out of Philly. He's also made sure to notify all other champions that he is on a mission to get all the belts and made it clear that he would love to fight against Brandon Figueroa at his own fight and he's interested in fighting any other champion in the division. They also asked Steven if he was okay with fighting against Naoya Inoue if Naoya were to step up to 122 and he said he's pretty much ready for anybody and everybody. He's here to make history and he really really loves the sport. 
sport he learned to value it and cherish it more since he contracted COVID because he lost an opportunity at a world title at that point in time and he felt that there was going to be no chance that he was going to be able to regain that opportunity but fortunately for him things aligned and look at him now he's a world champion either way congratulations to Stephen Fulton on a great win in a potential fight of the year contender when 2021 is all said and done he sure shocked me and pretty much proved me wrong in my prediction in every aspect and that's fine because i'm glad we got introduced to a different wrinkle to his game that could potentially make him the best at the division either way 122 is really heating up and i can't wait to see how everything unfolds let me know your thoughts on the fight did it go as you predicted or did Fulton make you eat crow too? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure to subscribe for a lot more unbiased boxing content to come. Like always, this is Shay Akimi Boxing signing out.